The unique construction and premium quality of Mari's professional half pan watercolor set are unparalleled by any of its competitors. Specially developed with the help of both artists and educators to ensure that it is complete with everything an artist needs to create full works of art. This durable and transportable artist's tool finds purpose both inside studio and in outdoor painting. Let's unbox it. Mari's high quality watercolor set of 48 assorted colors that includes everything you need to begin your next project. Travel friendly case makes this kit perfect for outdoor painting as well as an indoor studio set. Includes 48 half pans in a compact carrying case along with 4 brushes, 2 charcoal sticks, a natural sponge and 2 blending sticks. First mixing area is integrated onto the back of the top lid and has 3 separate areas for mixing. Paints are made with only the finest pigments, in high concentration, with the finest binder for flawless performance, and to achieve brilliant and light fast results. Today we are getting into some loose watercolor florals, no matter your skill level, you can paint this. It's all about messy brush strokes and splotches of color that, loosely, resemble flowers. When it all comes together, you will have a beautiful floral artwork. The difference between a good painting and a great painting is really the color palette. Think it through and plan it out. I want them to blend and bleed, but if it starts to bleed too much you can blot your brush, so it is dry and use that to sop up some of the extra colors. Putting thought into your colors beforehand is always a good idea. You can see that the colors are began to bleed into each other, but I still love the end result. Each time you paint a flower, think about changing the leaves slightly. With a smaller flower, the leaves are smaller. Just that little bit of difference and contrast can add so much interest to your piece. The loose florals come together pretty simply, just turn your mind off and let yourself go. It's about enjoying the process of painting, and you'll have a great result. I continue, moving around the page, adding little yellow flowers out and more green leaves. I want a burst of green, around the perimeter, without a solid perimeter. Now, I have two large flowers and a few smaller flowers, but I want to add some vertical height with the light purple.
I actually rotate the painting as I go so I can pull the brush towards myself. Layering the same colors on top can add more contrast, adding a thin line to leaves or shading the top or bottom. For more contrast, I use the dark purple to add some berries, which also add a nice size contrast. I am hinting at the idea of lilacs with little ovals and splotches with random areas of color. Adding a little lilac throughout hints at stems. Loose florals are a great way to get into watercolor. Some of these are just slapping paint on the page, they are colorful brush strokes barely, resembling flowers. When you add the colors it all sort of comes together. You can make a mess, never go back and fix anything but just leave it alone and it will all come together. As it starts to dry you can add more detail. With that last bit of detail and an extra leaf or two, it is all done. The more you let go and just enjoy, the paint and the color and the brush strokes, the more successful you will be.